Originally, this corner display was made up of items donated by Arnold and Ellen Norskopf. As time went by, lack of display space made it necessary to add other items to this area. In this display, pictures of the original farm can be seen. It was owned by Thomas Norskopf Sr. The farm eventually became the home of Thomas Norskopf Jr. and his family. Most prominent in this display are the many woodworking projects made by Thomas Jr. He became interested in wood carving in 1902 at the age of 15 during a year of recovery from a ruptured appendix when he was not able to help with farm work. His woodworking included scroll saw work, lathe turning, and wood inlay. Examples of his scroll work and wood inlay can be seen in the display area. Included in the display is a circular table made up of 981 pieces of wood. The museum is grateful to the Norskov family for their contributions. Arnold, who was Thomas Jr.'s son, and his wife Ellen were instrumental in the founding of the museum. They contributed hours of labor, artifacts, and display accessories. In addition, Arnold served as a board member during the early years of the museum's existence. A complete history of the Norskov family can be found in the Boone County History Book located in the Research Center near the museum entrance. Reine Klattenberg of Albion began carving when in approximately 1907 he was stricken with inflammatory rheumatism. His condition was such that he couldn't leave the house. To keep his mind occupied, he began wood carving. As he continued to carve, he realized he could make some beautiful things, including clocks. His masterpiece is the cathedral clock, seen in the display case. Another of his handmade clocks is a locomotive made to imitate a steam engine. When wound, a little bell would chime on the hour. These two carvings took from six months to a year to complete. After recovering, he built a wood shop and continued carving items such as can be seen in the display case. In addition to carving, he also made fishing rods and repaired shotguns. The latest acquisition in this display, which is displayed on a table along the west wall, was made by James O. Silka of Petersburg, Nebraska. It is a replica of, of the Notre Dame Cathedral, and rather than being a wood carving, it is instead an amazing work of art made of matchsticks. It was constructed in 2017, just two years before the actual Notre Dame burned. Before retiring, James was an engineer. Other items of interest in this display include an upright piano, which won the first place at the first Chicago World Fair held in 1893, and an oak pump organ donated by Inez Mock of Petersburg. The organ was a lingual family heirloom.